Yeah. Yo, hi, we are Creepy Cutie Crafty. We are a mother and daughter team. Um, we like everything that is creepy, cutie, cutie and kawaii. And and we very much like doing our crafts, don't we? I'm Mummy and this is Squinks. Hello. And um, Squinks is my 10 year old daughter. And we like to have a go at various crafts and see what um, successes and fails we can give to you, um, our audience. Mm -hmm. um, and also, we had the behind the scenes where we just do all the silly stuff, where it's all the accidents and silly stuff. Happening. Yeah, you can see where we can have our accidents and our fails in other videos. Mm -hmm. um, so, recently we've been having a go at these. These are the Sophie and Toffee uh, subscription boxes, the Elves box. Um, where they send out various crafty items um, which uses UV resin and basic resin crafts and having a go and trying things out. Um, but before we open this one we're going to talk about the things thus far. Thus far. Thus yeah. far we have done two um, Sophie and Toffee boxes. The first one that we did was this one um, which really used this was from the sweeties box, so you can make sort of cute <coughs> sweeties. And these are our um, little squishy animals. His name's Fred. His name's Fred? Okay. His name's Arthur. <laughs> and his name's Arthur. And we're going to put them to one side. And the last one we did, and we, we actually did a making video, so you can see this. And um, we, actually see we this? did this one today, about like... An hour ago. We, we did this, but we finished this one about an hour ago. It took us two sessions to go um, with our little cutie uh, dragon turtle, turtle. thingy Alec friends. Um, and this was from the Sophie and Toffee Elves <coughs> box. That was the, this was from the Sophie and Toffee Elves box, which was the Sorry. succulents themed box. Mm -hmm. um, it's and been we've literally this. just finished. This is our little terrarium. Mm -hmm. Um, we'll show it to you once it's actually finished and all dried up. Um, I think that one is finished and dried up, but we'll go with it. If you are interested in subscribing to the Sophie and Toffee Elves box, basically, as I say, it is a subscription box. Um, you have to pay a monthly fee. Um, this is the premium box, so we get sort of two or three extra items. The regular box is about <coughs> about $35. Uh, the, the regular box is about $35 US dollars in the UK. That is 20, about £26, £27. Pounds. Um, and the premium elves box is um, about $49, um, that's about £37 in uh, the UK, um, and it, it is worth getting, isn't it? Um, I mean, these are basically just inspiration boxes, they give you a few little things based around a the theme, you have a go, and if you are interested, you can go and buy yourself some more um, UV resin and some uh, epoxy resin from Sophie and Toffee, and... and Set off your crafting career. But before we do it, this one's different than all the other boxes because guess which colour it is? Blue like the other ones or purple? Put uh, it in the comments below before we open this. Well, I'll just tell you the previous boxes have been this kind of colour, this sort of teal colour. Um, but, but before we do anything else, I have to just give it one little disclaimer. Now, these boxes... Ain't for kids. Ain't for kids. Um, they sorry, are... Now, Squinks is 10 years old, mm -hmm. um, but even that, I would not let her do um, uh, play with the or have a go with the Sophie and Toffee boxes without supervision. Um, these haven't been subscribed for in Squinks's name, they've been uh, subscribed for in my own name. But we're saying, as I say, do not buy this if you cannot supervise your children play with it this is for adults to, to, to have a go at crafting and um, you know it, it is fun but you've got to be sensible with it if you want to subscribe to <laughs> oh, there it goes if you want to subscribe to the Sophie and Toffee box it's best to um, just purchase the starter box first now we bought the basic starter box which had this little UV torch you can see it's there it's um, the, same. the UV resin will set in the sunlight but it'll take a day or so whereas with this it takes seconds the problem is with this one um, it will cause what we call an exothermic reaction which basically means that um, the uh, the resin will get very very hot as it's setting so again that's another reason why it's not for kids the new Sophie and Toffee starter box has a little sort of nail um, uh, lamp um, which is about about that big and you can 
um, put it on struts onto the table and put your items underneath it. But you know, this does the job <coughs> and well, I'm happy with it. And it's a very uh, good starter. So let's have a look we're at We're going to see what colour you guessed, and if it was correct, you have to subscribe. But if it wasn't correct, you still have to subscribe. <laughs> so, <laughs> Three, yeah, we'll do this. One, you have to subscribe. <laughs> So yeah, oh, it's upside down. It was it's upside down. Oh, so there if, we go. If you guess purple, you were correct, and it's shiny. So yeah, it's shiny than the other. Ah, there's a sticky. There's a sticky thing sticking out. That's fine. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's a bit scoopy. It's milk. It's a bit of cow gum. I guess from it's the cow gum. Hold on. All right. So yeah, this Random. is the lovely foil decorated um, Sophie and Toffee box. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is actually the dice one or the creepy cute one, which is... Yeah, because we are really looking forward to the Halloween themed box, which is going to be the creepy cute box, which is in, in October. This, but um, what if this is it? What if this is it? This, this is, is it? the August box, uh -huh. which is... Dice. So yeah, we have this box, um, and it's the dice themed box, and we've got other themed boxes that we're going to have a look at in the future. <coughs> like I say, the previous one was um, uh, the succulents one, and we've also had the um, the sweeties one, the candy one. There's been all kinds of themes, but we're very much looking forward to the creepy cute one, because let's face it, creepy cute crafty, creepy cute, it's a match made in heaven, isn't it? Okay, so Squinks is getting very excited about this. Um, I do love the purple um, pattern on here. I do like this, this box with the Sakura design on it. First we go from orange, then we go to blue, and then we go to purple. What's going to be next? Oh, yellow? Red? Yes. Pink? These are all colours. Well done. Indigo? Well, this is actually indigo. No, indigo is dark blue. Oh. So, okay. what we'll be doing is... Um, uh, we'll be taking it in turns. I will move the box back so that we don't get uh, sneak peeks of what's inside. Um, is there there is a little um, booklet with some information about the items. I will try and get that out first. And yes, it is the polyhedral, polyhedral, <coughs> polyhedral <coughs> dice set. So it's very good for gaming. So if you're into your D and D and your tabletop games, dragons this is the dungeons. one. Dungeons and Dragons, I'm confused. Dungeons and Hell. Dragons, that's the one. Yeah, so if you like your um, <coughs> tabletop... So if you like your tabletop gaming, this mm. is the one for you, so you can add things to it. How to cheat, How to cheat in Monopoly. <laughs> and there's a little sneak peek of the items inside. I'm going to have a look. But I'm not going to tell I'm you what's in look. there because... But I'm not going to tell you what's in there because um, we're going to have a look at the items themselves and we can look at them after we've taken them out of the box. So... Who's going to go first? Me. So Squinks is going to get the first item. Go on. Oh. Go on, take, take the first item out. Oh, oh. oh. The biggest oh. thing first. Yeah. Bring it. Come here, bring it. This is in the plastic wrappers. Now, I tend... Oh, no, no. I tend to keep them in the plastic wrapper until we need them because it stops dust from getting onto the silicone moulds. But these are silicone moulds. This is a really nice thing and I know what this is. So Squinks, if you want to hold it up to the camera without creasing it too much. I think this is where you make the dice. This is not where you make the dice, this is a dice storage box. <gasps> so you can put one dice into each one of these. This is actually the mould for the storage box because you can see these little um, hexagons. These hexagons are slightly shorter. Stop crinkling it, please. Stop crinkling. These hexagons are slightly shorter than the edge, so you can fill this to the brim and have a nice flat edge. So this is actually the bottom of the pot, and turn it over, and you've got the lid. <coughs> so, so we're going to leave that in the wrapper. Okay, so we're going to leave that there. And now it's my turn to have a go. I'm going to reach in and pull just one thing out. I think I've pulled out the most boring item possible. <laughs> this, I believe, is the is um, a, a polishing cloth. But I'm going to put that there and I'm going to check in my list. So, that is, yep, it's a felt cloth. So I'm guessing that could be something you put the item on. So that it doesn't scratch your table. So you make your finished item, stick that to the bottom, 
Go on. And I choose you. That's a six-sided dice. And one of the things that my uh, other fans of so the other fans of Sophie and Toffee have said is to be look out for these. Can you see? There's a little hole in the top there, and that means that when you push the lid um, of the um, the mold down, it means that the air can escape. So you get a nice smooth surface rather than any air bubbles, any overflow, any problems like that. So that's yeah. quite nice, isn't it? Okay, I'll put that there, and I'm going to get the next one. Yes, I think this is another dice mold. Dice mold, yeah. <gasps> oh, oh, this is D and D one. That's a D twenty. It's a D twenty, yeah, this is that a is. D twenty mold. You can see that because the twenty is right there at the bottom. So if you want I've got to wait, six and you've got twenty. So if you want to weight your dice, that's the way to go. Yeah. Um, but you can see again the little hole there. Um, you can see the little hole there, and that means that you can uh, put the lid on without the um. Uh, the resin overflowing and you don't get any air bubbles so that's still very nice but you know as the resin is setting you can put in um, uh, pieces of grass you can put in ribbon you can put in glitter you can put in little pictures all <coughs> sorts of things but I wouldn't recommend putting in um, iron, uh, steel balls because then you have weighted dice and that's cheating Go. I'm closing my eyes here now Ooh. look at that look at that so that one is the diamond. Oh, that's the D10 mold. Um, and yep, yeah, again, very nice mold. Um, and it looks like a diamond. And yep, yeah, you can uh, use that to make your uh, I need to make your dice. Um, yeah, we've got some um, UV resins and other resins from previous boxes, and we've also got some dyes that we can add to them as well. So that's that's handy, isn't it? So my turn. Oh, nice. This is the uh, metallic acrylic uh, paint. This is light gold colour. You can see that lovely colour, um, lovely luminous colour there. That has to be a premium. That is a, I don't know, I'll have to find that one out in a minute. So that is what you paint the, um, the, the numbers on with. So you can put this into the number um, cutouts. Then you wipe off the excess and you've got your numbers there sorted. I will just check to see if that is one of the premiums. Let's have a look. It is... It's a regular box item, so uh, no. What no, is it's a not. premium? That's a premium. And that's a premium. What are you and there's one more premium, and I'll tell you what it is when we get it. Okay, so Metal. you're ready? Metal. One, two, three. And I hope I get the, the premium. No, I didn't. You got another dice? Another dice I mold? Die. I, so, I hope I don't die. Um, I think that is actually a, the D8. So, uh, yep, I think that one was the D10. This is the D8, and it means that it's very old. It means it's two years younger than me. No, it's a D8, it means it's got eight sides. Oh. So, when we say D whatever, that means the dice, dice with that number of, uh, of faces. Let's make these up a little bit tidier. Finally, this is a premium. I'm really surprised. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, it's not actually, not actually a surprise. This is, I don't know how this is a premium. Because that goes with that. Oh. You see. Okay. Okay. And, and the other thing about this is, um, if you make the lid, you can put that into the base of the lid and have that as your rolling, um, uh, your rolling bowl. You saw, so, sometimes when you do um, do D and D or do other sessions, you have like little um, uh, like rolling um, uh, mm -hmm. plates. Okay, it's my turn to pick one out now, and I think it's a little bit different. And it is. Get that. It's another dice. <laughs> <laughs> this one. <laughs> this one. Is the D12? We can see because whichever one is on the bottom is the one that it, it, it's most likely to be. So yeah, that is our D12. So it's got 12 mm. faces on it. Mm. And, um, and now it's Squeak's turn. <laughs> oh, I got squishy resin. Epoxy this resin. is epoxy resin. Now <laughs> you can see this is bagged. And in a bottle and not just left loose in the box this is the stuff that you have to be careful with you have when you're you're using it you have to be wearing uh, protective gloves 
and if possible um, a respirator <coughs> but at the very very least make sure that you have your windows open because this stuff is stinky yeah and even yeah. if you can't smell it it can still cause you problems I'm the youngest person in the house and I take out the most dangerous thing in the Hyundai box yeah well, well done me it's, it's doable but you see basically unlike the UV resin where with the UV resin if you pour it in and then you um, expose it to light, it sets. With this, you have to mix the two parts very, very carefully. Mix it very thoroughly. So, unlike the UV resin, where it's in, it comes as uh, just as the resin, and then you set it by using the uh, light, with this one, you have to mix the two parts, and both parts are quite dangerous, so you okay. have to be very, very careful. But, just telling you, the most toxic part about, you know, this thing is... The mixing part. Whilst it's mixing, it's very toxic and it could, well, give you asthma like me. Well, it, it could it could do all sorts of damage to you. <coughs> um, it, it, you don't want to get it on your skin and you certainly don't want to be breathing it in. So, yeah, again, this is why we have um, adult supervision. I'm going to put that one down there. So we're going to an alien. And it's my turn. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> This one is teeny tiny. This is a set of magnets, and I know that this is also a um, the premium item because this goes with this to help um, do a closer. So this helps keep this closed. What's the problem? You remember I'm scared of tiny things going down people's neck. This is the exact size of things I've been dreaming about. And now I'm afraid that this nightmare is going to come true. No, not if we set it in the resin and we'll be fine. Basically, this, this epoxy resin can be used with this big set here. <coughs> the thing with the UV resin is when it sets with light, it gets very, very hot. With epoxy resin, it doesn't. So if you put UV resin into something this size, uh -huh. it's going to warp. It's going to lose its shape. Whereas if you put this in... It's just going to set and it'll be fine. But you do have to put it somewhere where it won't be disturbed for 24 hours. Okay, so it's Squink's turn. I think oh. we've got nearly everything out of there. Oh my goodness, the worst die. Uh, is, it, is that the D4? Yeah. So it's got four sides. No, that you need to hold it for the D4, camera. yeah. It's a triangle. So hold it the Egyptians side. have haunted us ever since they died out. Pyramids, the Egyptian pyramids were five sided, but <coughs> we'll go okay. with it. But yeah, this, this is the D4. Um, do be flame. And it, yeah, it's, it's good, but you have to make sure that you line it up properly before you put the lid on. Because if you get it the wrong way around, then it's not going to be able to read it when, it, um, when you throw it. Because yeah, you have to get all the numbers on the right edge. But yeah, that's good. And then I'm going to put that over here, a big pile of dice well, molds. Well, wait, wait, when, when you cheese to get them enough later, get in all the dice that I've made, you don't use the dice that you made. Yay! Yeah, those are just dice molds, you don't actually, not actual dice themselves. I got all of them. Okay, come on. Right, so it's my turn now. <laughs> There's only one thing left anyway. I think there's one more thing. Okay, so I think there's one more thing left in the box after this one. Um, and this is the uh, iridescent glitter. So you can mix this in with your um, UV um, with resin or you can mix this in with your epoxy resin. And it makes it all nice and shimmery. You can see there the shimmer coming from that glitter. <coughs> it's nice, isn't it? Oh my goodness, it's tiny. I'm getting scared again. I hate tiny things. Okay, so Hashtag Florence, I hate I've... tiny things. Okay, so it's uh, Squinks' turn to get the final op uh, the final item. I don't think there's anything else in there. Da, 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 nope. da, 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 da. And it's another eight dice. Is it another no. eight sided dice? Yes, it is. Um, actually, no. I think yeah, that's that's the the hundred the, the, the ten sided dice. This is for. Oh, yeah. This is for when you do your D100, so these goes up in uh, 10, 20, 30, um, up <coughs> to, uh, yeah, up to 100, and that is 
uh, for your D100 throws. Wait, wait, I've got an idea. You can only use eight sided dice. Okay, this is real dice. Okay, but um, um, I've got an eight sided dice. It's okay if I use it because it's got up in tens. Well, that's fine, it's because it's an eight sided dice. 100! <laughs> I win the game. Yeah, so this is um, a ten sided dice that goes up in count of 10. So this is with your D100, so you can use that with your D10 to create um, uh, any number between 0 and 100, or 1 and 100. There we go. <coughs> so, that is all of our items, and the premium items were the felt cloth, the dice box and holder, um, and the magnets. So that's basically your premium add-ons and that's a pretty hefty add-on for just those things. And we've got seven polyhedral dice silicon moulds. We've got the uh, gold acrylic paint. We've got the iridescent purple pigment powder. We've got the resin, which is a resin that has a three to one ratio. So three of these to one of these. And you have to get those amounts correct, otherwise it won't set properly and it'll be all squeaky and horrible. And also in um, the uh, the flyer that comes with it, we've got all sorts of tutorial ideas. So if you want to get some ideas, you go onto the Sophie and Toffee blog, or you can go onto their social media and their social community. And we've also got things that um, have been submitted from the fans from previous boxes and um, items that they've made in the past with the elves boxes in the past so that's all of our dice and dice boxes from our Sophie and Toffee elves, elves box the polyhedral dice polyhedral dice box and I think that's pretty cool and I'm looking forward to having a go at making that and that may well be our next video what do you think? I think it will be the next video I'm thinking but... because we've got loads of other um, glitters and paints and things we can use. We've also got some dyes. And we've we've got some um, uh, other colours and things that we can do. So we can do a, a wide variety of things just with this tester box. Again, like we say, this is a box that's just for inspiration. But you can do some amazing projects with it. And I've seen some amazing um, uh, dice boxes, and I've seen some amazing dice that have been made with them. I'm just going to have a sneaky peek at the book. Um, and I've also seen people using some of the dried flowers from the previous box in their dice box and in other bits and pieces that they've made. Just when you're working on these, just make sure that you're patient and don't try to hurry things too much because um, that's when the problems occur, as we have found in the past. Okay. Anyway, I think that's... So, anyway, are you pleased with this box, Squinks? Yeah, is it a craft or a crap? I think it's definitely a craft box. it's not, not made from box. poo. And it's definitely not made from poo. Because it's made from mostly silicon, toxic stuff, floor, it felt. and acrylic paint. Getting... Okay, so. And glitter. And magnets which don't eat, don't eat. Okay, so we are pleased with this box then, Squinks. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. And are you looking forward to having a go at making some dice so that we can play some um, dice games and some tabletop games ourselves? Yeah. Yeah. I got another idea. Okay. I want so, to have another idea. Oh, we'll get some ideas together. Squinks is getting full of ideas right now. Squinks has got lots of ideas based on Cuphead and on King Dice. And we've got some ideas for our next video. So we're going to have a go at some things. Plan, have a... A few days to plan things out and then we're going to have a go at making a dice box and making some dice <laughs> and we can show you the, um, the the results of that so if you've enjoyed our video please like comment and subscribe let us know of any ideas anything you want us to have a go at um, and we'll see if we can put it onto our uh, onto our channel 
And, uh, well, you know, we're always up to try new things. We're going to have a go at some tie-dye. We're going to have a go at some cooking and some baking, making cakes, decorating. And we're going to have a go at some painting and some uh, procreate drawing and some animation and other things and bits and pieces like that. And they're going to be on the channel. And they're going to all be on the channel. So just keep an eye on the space. <coughs> just keep an eye on the space and come and join our community of crafters. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye! <laughs>